are in enemy territory today. So what's the name of this place? It's on the door. Hypermotive. Hypermotive. It's a Mustang shop. It's a real shop. My boy Anthony Ballard here. You guys probably seen him before on 1320 at their bus nest. He's got the guillotine in there. It's, it's nothing. It's just a little supercharged Mustang. We're, yes. we're going down to Darlington Dragway. Uh, he's doing some testing on his car. He's got a new motor and uh, what are you trying to set? New personal best? Yeah. How much boost you run? 18 pounds. 18 pounds on a blower. But we are we got his car loaded up in here. Loaded up and we're about to hit the road. Uh, it's about seven hours later. We are uh, in South in South Carolina. How much longer we got, Ballard? 20 minutes. He's been saying that for the past two hours. Last time the car was here at Darlington, had a couple issues, ripped the mass airflow sensor out, which caused the motor to lean itself out, ended up tearing itself down, kind of. Got the motor rebuilt, put back in there, everything's running good. The blower's on it, he's making 18 pounds of boost. Uh, he's ran in the quarter mile, or ran in the eighth mile a few times, laid down some really solid times. So we're gonna see how it does in the quarter today. They said the track should be good out here in Darlington, and we're gonna see what she does, and then probably gonna put more power into her. Overall, first pass, how was it? Shitty. Shitty? Just spun? Yeah. Not happy? No. Gonna give another shot? Yeah. Alright. Not good. The track isn't quite there. Um, spun out of the hole. Probably made it about 300 feet and then just got out of it. So he loosened up the shocks. He's draining some water now, I believe cool off that uh, supercharger and then he's gonna give it another shot he's talking to the track guys so you know it made it back so more successful than his last outing I guess he's putting the sticky stuff down there for him hooking him up Shit, 60 foot. You still spin out of the hole. They sprayed it some more. They need more glue. We'll see what he says. We're gonna definitely try it again. Hopefully, we'll get some more bite out of it. Quick little tune change here. Taking some power out of it off the line. Huh? Taking power out of it off the line. Yeah, try to get it to lead better. If we can lead better, where I can stay wide open throttle, we're good. What's the game plan? Just get it to hook. Get to hook. We want eights on blower. We don't eight on That's the first goal. And then if it hooks, guaranteed eights on board. If it hooks, guaranteed. Sounds like I still got your milk. No. <laughs> A plug for your tuner, you don't want to say what Palm Beach Dino number one. <laughs> prep still spun so we're gonna drop tire pressure I think he was at 18 pounds before the burnout now he's gonna drop it to like 15 and a half Any even you should be good so you gotta think they'll pick up two or three pounds on the burnout right there.
four at 153.3 with a 141 60 foot. So 60 foot still kind of shitty? It went it went a worse 60 foot, but went a tenth faster and a mile an hour faster. He put he must have had a timing. This thing will hook, this, this fucker's gonna fly. Oh yeah, I agree. Went up a tenth or went down a tenth and up a mile an hour with a worse 60 foot. There. Starting to fray the belt. We don't, we don't give a fuck about accessories. No, we do. We do care about accessories. You guys all know. That's yeah, all you need. That's all I care about. It's not a water pump. That's probably the most important. And there. Water pump is working. We got problems. No, motherfucker. Mass airflow wiring is the most important. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth and look at Watch it. Catch cans? Catch can working, son. It, it, ain't, caught, catch it ain't caught nothing. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, he's got that catch cam bent in the atmosphere. Tell him you want all the timing. Yeah. Up top. Say, give me all of it. Uh, I am honestly, I, I was expecting like a 9 1, 9 2 on that pass. It did not feel like a 9 flat pass. If no. you were on, I think it's time to get off pump gas and get on race gas. No, uh, street car, bro. <laughs> Camera's dying, so we're gonna wrap it up here. He's gonna make probably two more passes, maybe. Uh, that one, he shook the tires off the hit. Finding a little bit more traction. I, th I personally think the tires are wore out. New set of radials on that thing, he'll be hooking. Um, what, 9.0 at like 152. The track's okay. It's not set up good for his car. His car's not set up good for a track that's not sticky, so. I mean, the car's moving. It's making power up top. This is blow rolling. He can he can hit it with the nitrous too, but he's not doing that today. I mean, he got to dial in. He normally he's 60 foot or a one two three before, so if he can get a decent 60 foot, he could really do some damage. I might record just a couple of the other passes, but for this camera, the vlog style, that's about it. So mildly successful track day. I'd still smoke his ass. So that race is coming up soon. We got a grudge race between me and him coming up in the next couple weeks. So be on the lookout. Also got some uh, car reviews coming up. So thank you guys for watching. Hit 100 subscribers. Thank you. Trying to get to 200 now is the next step. Thanks for watching. I'm just having fun making videos.